Hello everyone, in this video we will see about time and work problems which is asked in general aptitude section in many competitive exam. First, let us see the first concept. Suppose say Aditya can finish a work. Suppose say he is building a wall in n days. Now for our example purpose, let us take n to be 3 days. In 3 days, he is able to build a whole wall. In one day, he will be able to build one third of the wall. Second day he will build another one third of the wall. And third day he will build another one third of the wall. So in three days he will complete the whole wall. So in one day he would have completed one third of the work. So this is his rate of working so in three days he'll complete the work one by three into three equal to one suppose if it is n days his rate of working will be one by n days now let us say uday uday is a very slow worker he takes six days to build this same wall so he will do one sixth of the work in one day. So second day another one sixth. Like that he will take six days to complete the whole wall. His rate of working is 1 by n which is 1 by six here. Suppose say Aditya and Uday both of them work together. Then what will happen? So in one day they will be able to build one third of the work will be completed by Aditya and one sixth of the work will be completed by Uday. So they will finish half the work in one day and next day also it is one by three plus one by six. So they will finish half the work in the next day. So in two days they will complete the work. So if you want to represent, the, represent this mathematically, so how much time both of them take to work, to take to complete the work together. So it is nothing but 1 by 3 is Aditya's rate of work and 1 by 6 is Uday's rate of work. So both of them combined rate of work is 1 by 2. So they take 1 by 2 into its equal to 1. So h is 2. So they take 2 days to complete the work. Sometimes the questions can be like Uday is half efficient as Aditya. So if Aditya's rate of work is 1 by n, Uday's rate of work will be 1 by 2n. Also they can give in terms of ratio. Aditya is to Uday is 1 is to 2. So here you have to use these ratios. Let us solve this question. Say Aditya, Priyanka and Uday, all three of them take 10 days to complete the work. So their three of them combined rate of work is 1 by 10. If worked alone, Aditya will take 20 days. So his rate of work is 1 by 20 and Priyanka's rate of work is 1 by 30. And we don't know how much is the rate of working of Uday. So that is what they are asking. How many days will Uday alone take to complete the work? So if we say that Uday's rate of working is 1 by U, then all of these combined rate of working should equal to 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 equal to 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by U. So if you take the LCM as 60, so it is 6 minus 3 minus 2 equal to 1 by 60. So Uday alone will take 60 days to complete the work. Let us solve one more problem. This was asked uh, recently in the gate exam. So they are telling that Anand takes 6 hours to read the book and Bharat takes 4 hours to read the book. They have started reading at the same time. So Anand's rate of reading the book per hour at 
for every one hour anand's rate of reading the book is 1 by 6 and for bharat it is 1 by 4 so they are asking after how many hours is the number of pages to be read that is number of pages left to be read by anand is twice that of to be read by bharat suppose say in eight hours that happens so in eight hours they would have read it's by sixth of the book and bharat would have read it's by fourth of the book so number of pages left will be 1 minus it's by 6 and for bharat it will be 1 minus it's by 4 so they are telling that number of pages to be read by anant is twice that to be read by bharat so it is 2 into 1 minus it's by 4 we should equate this so if you equate this the answer will come as 3 so in 3 hours this will happen that the number of pages to be read by anand will be twice that to be read by bharat let us solve one more problem in the same concept so they are telling four men and three women can complete the job in 30 days and five men and six women can complete the job in 20 days so four men plus three women their rate of work is 30 days we always we always saw that the number of days inverse of number of days is the rate of work and five men and six women can complete the job in 20 days so if you solve these two equations you will get men and women what is their rate of work so you can multiply this equation by 2 it will become 8m plus 6 women equal to 2 by 30 that is 1 by 15 so if you subtract this two equations then you will get 8 men minus 5 men is 3 men 6 women minus 6 women is 0 equal to 1 by 15 minus 1 by 20 you take the lcm of 60 so it is 4 minus 3 1 by 60 so one men's rate of work is 1 by 180 you substitute this in this equation then you will get the women's rate of work their rate of work will be 1 by 270 if you solve it so they are asking how much time it will take for two men and three women to complete the job so it is 2 into 1 by 180 plus 3 into 1 by 270. So it is 1 by 90 plus 1 by 90. 2 by 90. That is 1 by 45. So 1 by 45 will be the rate of work for two men and three women. So number of days will be inverse of this, which is 45 days. So that is the answer. now let us see the second concept so here they say 20 workers can finish building a big wall in 30 days so for one big wall it takes 20 man and 30 days so the concept is 20 into 30 which is 600 man days so it takes 600 man days to complete building the wall so they are asking how many extra workers will you need if you have to complete the work in 10 days so you can equate this 600 man days equal to x men will be required into 10 days if you solve this you will get x as 60 so the extra men will required will be 60 minus 20 that is 40 so 40 will be the extra men required let us solve one more problem so the same kind of thing 20 workers can finish building a big wall in 30 days so 600 man days but in between uday forms a an union and asks them not to work so five people including him will not be able to work now how many days will it take to build the wall so if five people go away there will be 15 workers left so 15 into its days so 600 divided by 15 so it's equal to 40 so it will take 40 days to build the same wall you can check out our website for more solved problems and techniques 
the link for the website is given in the description below the video also you can subscribe to our channel to continue watching more such videos thank you guys